Good evening, I'm Shamika Neely. The Young Hoosiers Conservation Corporation of Indiana is offering 2,000 jobs to young Hoosiers between the ages of 18 and 24. Indiana will pay for the labor of workers and supervisors with $12 million from federal stimulus funds. New hires will work for 16 weeks this summer, creating recreational trails, road maintenance, and other similar jobs for the Departments of Transportation and Natural Resources. Please visit their website for applications and more information. A sentencing hearing for a Brown County woman who admitted to the murder of her husband last June is set for next month. Dottie Andrews pled guilty to the charges of voluntary manslaughter and arson. Authorities said Andrews entered her husband's home, shot him and his dog to death, and then set fire to the house. Health care reform's been in the headlines for months, including coverage for college students and recent graduates. Find out how IU stacks up to other schools in the Big Ten. The health needs of U.S. citizens were an ongoing congressional debate of universal health care for several months. Through various proposals, compromises, and special interest discussion, the needs of one segment of the population is receiving relatively little attention college students. Indiana University Assistant Professor Nicole Kwan of the University School of Public and Environmental Affairs says change may take as long as a decade. I think we're only tackling one of the major problems, which is getting the uninsured into an insurance plan. And I do think the current reform will help quite a bit in that area, but I don't think it's going to do much to actually contain the increasing medical care costs. And it's in part because there's only so much they can do with with one piece of legislation. Kwan says some graduate students are particularly hard hit by rising costs. She says some will choose to go bare or live without insurance at all because they have access only to expensive plans. Many students I think just don't have coverage at all. So they're essentially, the term that we use is going bare. They literally have no insurance coverage. Um, some students may still be eligible for coverage from their parents or guardians. If, if that's an option, I think students will continue to take that. Some students try to purchase their own health insurance on the market or maybe buy into the student health insurance program. The new health care reform bill now includes a provision which allows students to receive coverage up to age 26. See the entire story tonight on the weekly special at 8 p.m. and Friday at 6 p.m. And now let's take a look at your weather. Tonight, partly cloudy, lows in the mid-30s. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, highs in the upper 50s. Tomorrow night, clear, lows in the upper 30s. And let's take a look at your five-day forecast. Saturday, mostly sunny, highs in the upper 60s, lows in the upper 40s. For WTIU, I'm Shamika Neely.